Hey YouTubers, I know I haven't submitted a video in a while, but it's because I've been really busy. Um, I've been taking summer classes and trying to move and find a new, and fi I found a new apartment, so I've been trying to move, but um, hopefully I will start doing some tutorials soon. Um, right now I just wanted to do like a small uh, top fave products that I have right now and some things that I bought that I really really love and I just wanted to let you guys know because I'm in love with them okay so my my top phase I don't really have an order that they go in because I just like them all equally so we'll show you okay Ooh. one of my faves my top phase is coastal scents brushes okay I didn't realize Coastal Scents, as we all know, they have very cheap, very affordable um, quality products. But I never thought about using their brushes because brushes are very, it's very difficult to find good quality brushes at a low price. Okay, well, I bought these. Um, this one, I don't know what it's called, it's like a large shader brush, but it's extremely, extremely dense. If you can see that, it's dirty right now. But it's extremely, extremely dense, and it's very, very big, and it's good for all over color on your eye. It's amazing. This color, I mean, this brush, if um, you have a very light, light color that's good as a highlight, maybe, and it doesn't show up on regular brushes, it will show up on this brush. The next one, I bought these four Coastal Sense brushes, and they're in pink, as you can see. All right, and now the next, my next favorite is this one. It's like an angled brush. It's very, very small, but this is extremely, extremely useful when I do my eyebrows, and it's actually, it, I use it in conjunction with one of my other favorites, which is um, this Ben Nye uh, Cream Highlight and Ultralight, and these two, um, I fill in my eyebrows, and then I use this little, little tiny, tiny brush to um and I put it in here and I line underneath my eyebrow and on top and oh my gosh let me tell you it makes your eyebrows look amazing as you can see right now they're super super defined and that's what I love I love a strong a full strong brow that's what I love and when you don't have your eyebrows done because I thread my eyebrows and I can't thread them myself but when you don't have your eyebrows done and you need to get them done this product right here will save your life because it will make all of those little hairs look like they're not even there. Trust me, I know I have very thick eyebrows. And one of the other brushes I had was this, which is like a shader brush, and this is amazing. Um, it's very dense and tightly packed, and it's small, so it's good for blending black shadow in the crease or anything like that. It's a very good all-over brush. I love, love, love this brush. Now this one right here, it's a very, very tiny. Has a very, very tiny head, as you can see. And it's very dense, it's not dense because it's very thin, but they're very stiff. So this brush is ex works extremely well for cutting the crease and doing crease looks where it has to have sharp lines and everything. This brush is extremely good because it doesn't bend and you can use it basically like an eyeliner. Alright, that's one of my top five. The other one, like I told you, is this Ben Nye Ultra, the Cream Highlight and Ultra Light. And this was a pain to get because Ben Nye products, they don't have like a Ben Nye website you can go to and order them from. You have to order them from special effects warehouses or something like that. So, super, super hard to get, but it was worth it. Um, my other top fives is the Eyes, Lips, and Face. This lip gloss in specific, it is called, oh gosh... Oh no, it's not called, oh gosh, I don't know what the color is, but it's a very, very shimmery color, and it's by Eyes, Lip and Fa Eyes Lips and Face, it's called Super Glossy Lip Shine. This is what I have on today with um, a MAC lipstick that I'm going to show you guys in a, in a little bit. This is amazing because it makes your lips look so glossy, so sexy, it makes them look extremely, extremely large. So I love, love, love this one. I haven't tried any of their other lip glosses. But this was maybe like $1.99 and I bought it at Rainbow. So, alright. My other top, my other uh, top product, which I actually just found out about. I was at Walmart. I never go to Walmart, but I was at Walmart to this day trying to buy um, just some, you know, face creams and things like that. And I saw this. It's called Nutrius uh, Decadent Amber is the smell, and it's luxurious body lotion, and they sell it at Walmart. This thing itself was five bucks. Oh my gosh. This is an amazing product because um, 
it's actually uh, paraben and formaldehyde free, which everyone knows. For if you don't know, formaldehyde is what they use to preserve uh, corpses, so not good. And parabens are another type of wax. Um, this is such a good product. I normally don't like scented lotions just because I feel I can feel like the oils of the perfume and it makes my skin really dry even though it's a lotion and I never never liked scented lotions. I've always just had regular unscented lotions, but this one is amazing and it makes your skin so soft. I didn't realize how after a few days of using this, if you don't put it on right after getting out of the shower, your skin will feel so tight that you can't even believe it. And then you put this on and it heals it like that. So this is an amazing scented lotion. This is decadent amber and I love it, love, love it. So um, it smells really, really good. Alright, my last product from my top five is this Aveeno skincare. Okay, Aveeno is amazing. About 80% of Aveeno products don't require commercials because they are that good. When a product doesn't require commercials, this is my experience, it tends to work the best. Those products that have the most commercials tend to not work as well. Aveeno skincare is amazing. I actually stopped using Aveeno um, just because I was lazy and didn't want to go use it and I started using another product by Biore and my skin broke out ridiculously. Like, I, If I don't take care of my skin or use Aveeno, I tend to break out a lot. Let me tell you, this is amazing, this product right here. It's a Vino Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer, and I have the comp the clearing com the clear complexion um, face wash. So after oh sorry, after a few days of using this, my skin cleared right back up. So any of Vino skincare lotion, anything is amazing, and it's expensive because it's qual a quality product that works. So those are my top fives. Um. I just wanted to say hi to everyone and see how everyone's doing. I haven't posted a video and I want to say thank you to my subscribers. I'm so very excited that I do have subscribers and I will be posting videos soon, hopefully. Um, uh, just to let you know, the look that I have today, uh, let me take off my glasses here. The look that I have today is like a smoky eye with a really sexy glossy lip. Um, for my eyes, I just primed them with um, Hip Color Cream Lighter in uh, their black, in black, 905 black, and I primed it all the way up above the crease, and then I actually put um, an Ulta, one of the Ulta shades, this isn't it, but I don't ha actually have it with me right now, and the color itself is called Safari, and it's this gorgeous, like, olive green tone, and it, I love that color so much, and it's an Ulta eyeshadow, which are very, very, very affordable if you go to Ulta, which is a makeup superstore, so go there, they sell everything, Urban Decay, they sell everything besides, like, MAC, because MAC obviously has its own store. On my lips, I use this MAC lipstick, it's called Twig. And I love, love, love this color because it's a really good neutral, but it still has some pink undertones to it, so it's good. And then, oh, I lined my lips with just a regular brown lip liner. Um, and I lined outside of my lips, of course, to make them look bigger. And then on top of that lip gloss, I have, um, uh, on top of the, lip, the MAC lipstick, I have the e.l.f. lip gloss. Um, oh, and also on my eyes, I put Canary Yellow by um, MAC. Everyone knows that color, of course. And then just the MAC Fluid Line and some mascara, which I also got from Old Tennis by, um, I don't remember the name right now. <laughs> Sorry. So, um, all right, if you guys want to need have any requests or anything just let me know thank you again for subscribing and watching my videos I've gotten so many views on um, a few of my videos especially the red lip one and the diffusing tutorial I've gotten like I don't know 1500 or more views on those and I'm so so excited so I'm gonna start posting some more videos and um, let me put my glasses back on because I can't see and um, I'm running. I ran out of my contacts. So, and um, if you guys have any looks that you want to request or anything, anything, guys, just email me, YouTube me, whatever. Just let me know. All right. Thank you again so much to my subscribers because I love you guys and you get get me so excited for making videos. So, all right. Um, just wanted to say thanks and show my top five. So um, I'll talk to you guys later.